Ashley, Wait a don't tell me what to fucking do. <laughs> this, this is his fucking show. Fuck this you. is my Fuck fucking you. show, and Fuck welcome you. to Root Beer Fucking Gamers. Welcome to, welcome to the Root Beer fucking Gamers. show. We're playing We're... Doki Doki Literature Club. We it's don't know fun. anything about it. Somehow we managed to avoid everything. Okay. Oh, right, Ashley knows. I know yeah. everything about this game, well, but they don't. Uh, yeah, so me and Michael have somehow avoided... Not even just spoilers, but pretty much learning anything about this yeah, game. Yeah, I know actually nothing about it. Good. I, I, I only know, evidently, it's fucked up. Yep. Well, I mean, but to be fair, it. they just gave, mm -hmm. a, gave us that little warning saying, Fuck it, future Michael, put that shit back up on the screen. Yeah, that one. Not to Thank you. Also, yeah, actually, <laughs> if you're watching this and you are depressed or anything like that, please be careful. I mean, I'm sure they've heard of it. All yeah, that. but I mean, if they have it, yes, it's John. It's wrap take yourself care of yourself. In wrap. It's pretty. Oh, also, Amy, no, Amy from oh, the right. uh, Amy from the, the the game. What is it, Game and Wario? She's here. The hell was it? Yeah, no, it's good. Game and Wario. Yeah. Amy from Amy from. You're game in this Wario episode too. now. Deal with it. <laughs> Wait, you didn't know you were going to be recording with us? No! Okay, she's here. Oh, she'll, she knows about the game, too. She'll she'll talk She'll talk if she wants to. And she knows oh, about okay. the game, too. All right. Cool. All right, so, I I'm, so, I'm, now so basically, we'll just treat this, this like it's a normal episode, I yeah. guess. Now that this is now that we, our intro has been too long, let's go! Yay! Right. Please what are you going to be? Oh, what should our name be? Michael, you come up with it this time, because I came up with Torp. Juicy. Fred. Fredonculus. <laughs> Fredonculus lol. They won't let me oh, put God. spaces, so. Fredonculus. So, Fredonculus. Fredonculus. Alright, here Sounds we go. Good. It's gonna be Fredonculus the fourth, but. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, let's go. Anyways. <clears throat> Who's gonna be. Who's gonna be this girl? Uh, Who's gonna be question mark, question mark, question mark? Oh, there are four girls. Dur, you're gonna need. You're gonna need a fourth person anyway. I didn't realize that. I'm usually Wait, on, is, I can is, be useful. Are, isn't there a main character as well? Yeah, this I is I wanna not be a... the main character. Alright. Who should be Sayori? And then I don't know, you the guys can split up. I don't give a shit. Short hair with the. You know what? You know our personality is better, so you decide. I think you should be Sayori. <laughs> okay. Who's question mark, question mark, question Amy. mark, though? Hey! I see an annoying girl. <laughs> I'm annoying. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. <laughs> Fuck you, Amy. <laughs> you know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school this. together on days like this, but starting around Everybody high school, we would oversleep though, more and more frequently, character. and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off <laughs> running away. <laughs> nice. However, I just sigh an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again, but I caught you. I caught you this time. Maybe, but I only, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. I'm just putting this on auto. I don't give a shit anymore. That's mean, Fredonculus. Well, people stare at you for acting weird. I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. <laughs> this is funny really shit. long. <laughs> Holy shit. Never mind. Auto's taking too long. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. I bet you I can. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you say, Sayori. Yeah, whatever you say, bitch. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Fredonculus, <laughs> have you decided on a club to join yet? You yeah, the stay-at-home club. club. I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me that you would join a club this year. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, but I'm perfectly content just getting on, getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Like a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real life? Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Yeah, because you're so much better at me than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your happiness is really important to me, you know. 
And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. <laughs> you know what a you neat, trust you know me, what right? Neat is? I have no fucking. It's idea. someone who stays inside it's, all the. No, oh. Yeah, it stands. It stands for not educated, not employed, educated, or in training. Oh, yeah. So basically, a useless basically, member of society. Basically, me at the moment. Hikimori. It's, Hikikomori. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Don't Anyways. make me keep waiting. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? What did I just fucking say? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just reading the script. Yay. <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. <laughs> Same. I hate that I have to keep the mouse on screen so that everyone can fucking see it. <laughs> Wait, why? Well, because that's the only way to click through the game. Yeah. Oh. Because if I have it on auto, it's, it's just slow. too slow. What are yeah, settings it's way for too that? slow. Well, let's. There you I mean, I mean. So I'm just gonna have it down here in the corner. <laughs> Sweet. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know or it. Or you can just keep it on their noses. When they pop up. <laughs> you know what? I like that idea. Thank you. <laughs> After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. <laughs> Sorry, he wants me to check out some clubs. That. People don't talk like that. Clubs. clubs. <laughs> yeah, because when you hear it that way, you think of like an actual. Well, I mean, it's... no, no. I was thinking. Oh yeah, of... clubs. I was... I was thinking... <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, I was thinking of the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> No, I kind of was too. Uh, <laughs> and here I was thinking of cards. <laughs> of what? Cards. Oh, oh. clubs. I was, we were all oh, thinking of different yeah. shit. <laughs> Are we going to continue with the game? Okay. Yes. Fine, I guess. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Like all of us. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. <laughs> I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. You should join the Mile High Club. Honestly, you're <laughs> even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. <laughs> well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? <laughs> there is no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the literature club, the club that I'm never gonna join because that'd be the stupidest club to join in this fucking game. Yeah. Although, Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. <laughs> Come on, please. Oh my god. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made me cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <laughs> I broke, I broke, I'm sorry. Just like one. <laughs> Fine. Stop by for a cupcake, okay? <laughs> yes, let's go. Yay. You can and be thus, the today marks the day I sold my <laughs> soul for a cup. Today pizza. marks the day I sold my soul for a cup. <laughs> <laughs> I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. Told you, don't call me a new member. <laughs> huh? I glance around the room. I want to be this one. Welcome to the literature. That's Monica in it. No, that's Sayori. <laughs> Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. That one's you, Douglas. Oh my God, she's <laughs> adorable. <laughs> I do want to be Monica too, though. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> ah, Fredonculus. What a nice surprise. <laughs> Wait, shouldn't he be the fourth girl? Do you want to be the fourth girl? I mean, sure. I don't care. 
Okay. Well, then, because then we're each one of the girls, and then he's just also the narrator. Okay, sure. You can be for Donculus. Ah, for Donculus. What a nice surprise. Yes. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> I like how dead silence is us laughing. Yeah. All words escape me in this situation. <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Uh, sorry. Not Suki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, who name, whose name is apparently not Suki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Made the fuck out of those cupcakes. <laughs> you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girl. How'd she say that into my ear when she's standing right next to her? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Oh no, now I know why Ashley likes her. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already met Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Fredonculus. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> and pose. <laughs> we do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, the main love interest. Goal, probably. Basically, completely out of my league. <laughs> oh, I just figured, I just realized, did we give you both the main, the main characters? And the main character. Apparently. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, we'll switch that up Go later on. Go for it, man. <laughs> when, when one of them dies. <laughs> <laughs> so having her smile. <laughs> hey, come on, it can't be another psychic situation. Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't put it past this game from like from where my mind has gone with it. Anyway, let's see where it goes. <laughs> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Verdunculus. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me and, or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Finger poke. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. No, they don't. <laughs> yeah, no, they're all pretty <laughs> neat yeah. and lined up. Yeah, huh. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Where are they? Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where no. Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. No, she's not. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. No, you don't. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, train hands. Where? Done. <laughs> Done. Shut up! Shut up! Just let this wash over you, okay? Okay, I'll let it wash over me. I'm super prepared. Cool. All right. Okay, are you ready? No. Ta-da! Whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the trail to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh my god, she's a girl. Yeah, yeah. The whiskers are done with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sarah grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and already has already managed to get icing on her face. It's delicious! <laughs> I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. I suggest the top. <laughs> Straight down frosting. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. It's not one of those games, is it? You better eat that fucking cupcake. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> fucking all the girls are already interested in me. This is bullshit <clears throat> and unrealistic. I'm an anime fucking nerd, neat nah, bullshit. Nah, 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 nah. Just keep. Playing. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Well, it's either that or the cupcakes are drugged. I finally <laughs> bite down. <laughs> the icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Like you, Baka. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> like an anime? I made them for you or anything. Babaka. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe. 
But not for, but not for, you, you know, you, dummy. This is gonna get old fast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation, just like I did in real life, too. <laughs> Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? What the fuck? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? No. I mean, we haven't read, <laughs> we haven't read shit yet. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> Th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean, that, you know... I believe you, for some reason. <laughs> Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Well, I was blackmailed into it. <laughs> I was blackmailed into it. By Ashley, so who so keeps so making me want to play this game. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, so you say. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica I was pr just practically dragged here by Sayori. I thought you said drugged. <laughs> yeah, me, okay, me too. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I have that on the mind. Yeah, Maybe. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet. Sayori really was really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? It's just Chico, As right? president... <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> but taller. Yeah. <laughs> really tall Chiro. <clears throat> As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone! Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna, I, I was spaced out. <laughs> Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. <laughs> then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the... Uh, bleh. Our interest in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that as we, that we can all really grow there. <laughs> Fuck, who speaks like this? I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. That's not a sentence. Nope. <laughs> right, everyone? Shit, sorry. Yeah! Put your fucking phone down! I already oh, did this! Right. Put, put, okay, okay. put it down. Put it down. Okay, okay. <laughs> it, all, it just so happens that was right when I picked up my fucking phone. Yeah. Well, oh my god! It always happens for all of us. We'll do our best. <laughs> you know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Because if they disagreed, this wouldn't be much of a fucking game. <laughs> Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Fredonculus, what kinds of things do you like to read? <laughs> oh, you know. I still can't get over this guy's name. <laughs> Come on, Fredonculus! I just, I just don't know if it's, I like what it more like or less read? than Torp. Uh, mo mostly Dogens. Uh, well, you know. Porn? Instructional manuals, oh. porn, more instructional manuals. <laughs> wow, those are very, uh... Instructional manuals. <laughs> Considering how porn. little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. <laughs> Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. You read Dojins too? <laughs> not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teeth cup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Lord of the and Rings. telling a good story <laughs> in such a foreign world like Lord of the Rings is equally impressive. <laughs> Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her. Clear, clear, 
Give me a moment. Drink <laughs> <laughs> that water. He can't English at the moment. No, this is what happened to me when I did Makoto. Yeah. Well. Because there was so much. Yeah. Yuri goes on <laughs> clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid that since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop like through this game? Oh <laughs> like this game? Yeah, oh, I mean, anyway. the lack of imagination is there already. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. Didn't like and never it? never again. <laughs> I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimum level. <laughs> at this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Oh. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For some reason, for someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. Say it, bitch. <laughs> That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. You looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Aww. Sayuri sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems? The fuck? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Well, because if I didn't, this would be a really boring conversation. <laughs> Why don't you share them sometimes? N no. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki averts her eyes. <laughs> wouldn't like them. Well, bitch, fine. <laughs> uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay! I have an idea, everyone! <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monika. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own! Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh um. <clears throat> yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right for Tokyo? <laughs> 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 oh, this is gonna be a good moment, my whole This is gonna be a good... Sorry, I think that was the first time I had to say it out yeah, loud. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. I need to change my name. <laughs> Hold on, there's still one problem. And what's that? <laughs> now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I'd join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have the other clubs to look at, and... Uh... I put a gun Everybody's in my head. Sad. <laughs> oh. All that... four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm defenseless against these girls. <laughs> How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. <laughs> I'll join the literature club. <laughs> one by one, the girl's eyes light up. <gasps> huh. Yes! I'm so happy! 
Siri wraps her eye, her arms around me, jumping up and down. Oob flush is hey. against me. You almost said eyes, and I just imagined oh. the eyes coming out of her head. Oh my god! <laughs> and like wrapping themselves around you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey, that's nightmarish. Hey, Don't that say nice. that. It's not that bad. Come on. You <laughs> missed to watch ridiculous shit in the Same. 90s as kids. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really came by just for cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Yeah, that'd be kind of a dickish thing to do. <laughs> then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club! Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Predonculus, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> okay, that one wasn't even my fault. It's got that you cracking up. Sorry, it's just funny! <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Verdonculus, since we're already we're already here, do you want to walk home together? No! That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I never walked home. That's a terrible <laughs> question! My fucking heart! Because <laughs> she always stayed after school for clubs. Eh, fine. Might as well. And with that, I think, next time on Root Beer Gamers. Next time on Root Beer Gamers, more of this shit. More of Fredonculus. Yeah, I guess we can't really stop here. I'm kind of interested now. Yeah, nice. I'm a little interested too. Go. Yeah. Okay, awesome, excellent. See you guys. See Bye. 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 Bye.